All of this live streaming equipment is about to be installed at my local church. But before I do, I wanted to test everything out and walk you through a simple setup that you can potentially use to upgrade your live stream setups as well. Now, if you wanna see the actual setup video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel so you'll get a notification when that video is uploaded. Now I wanna walk you through what I have right here, uh, starting with our AV Cans PTZ camera. I'm a huge fan of PTZ cameras because they allow you to pan, tilt and zoom, zoom in, zoom out, have close up, have wide shot. Uh, you can also control them with a remote control or you can control them using a actual controller. And this is my Huddlecam HD controller that allows me to not only control one camera, but I can actually daisy chain this to multiple cameras and control them all at the same time from one control panel. Now at my local church, we currently have two cameras set up and both of those are connected to our computer there using cam link devices. Now these are great if you have one or two cameras, but once you start adding more cameras, these type of devices really aren't the best option to connect more. So we are going to be upgrading from that device to a ATEM Mini. Now I actually found this ATEM Mini uh, on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, somebody was selling it, it was a good deal. Now there are a lot of different A10 mini devices and I'll link to video above because I actually use a A10 mini extreme ISO version uh, in my home studio setup. So there's a lot of different options that you have with the A10 minis. But for our particular setup at the church, we're just gonna use the base model and I'll link to everything below this video, all the items that we're gonna use as well. Then I have my computer behind me. I'm gonna actually bring you inside of our live streaming software. I'm gonna actually connect this into the OBS platform. But if you wanna use other live streaming platforms, you can do that. I'm a huge fan of Wirecast. That's one of my go-to platforms when it comes to professional live stream setups. But now let's get into actually setting this all up so you can actually see how it all works. So right under my desk, I actually have a power strip that I'm gonna to use to connect everything to. ATEM, and our PTZ camera need to be connected. I already have my huddle cam connected and I already have my laptop connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything connected up. So first I'm going to plug in our black magic switcher and plug in our PTZ camera and turn that on. And then I'm gonna take a HDMI connection and plug that into our port one on the A10 mini. Now this PTZ camera does have the ability to do SDI as well or NDI, but we already have at our local church a HDMI cable that is run. So we're gonna actually stick with our HDMI connection at the church. But I love these cameras because you can actually use multiple outputs. You can actually output the video over ethernet over HDMI or over SDI uh, simultaneously. So that's a great feature of the PTZ cameras by AV cans. So as we can see on our ATEM, we do have it powered up, which is good to go. And then one more cable, we need to take our USB-C connection that says webcam out and plug that into our computer to now bring that in as a webcam device and we're gonna use OBS the platform to walk through that. So now that we're all connected, I do wanna make sure that we have our camera actually working. So I'm gonna grab the remote here and make sure that the camera's actually working. So I wanna select camera one and I can see that the remote is working. So that is good. Another thing I wanna do is make sure that I plug in my huddle cam controller into the camera because that's gonna be the best way for us to control it. So I already have my cable run for that and I'm just gonna plug it into the input of the camera. And if we had multiple cameras, we can actually daisy chain it out. But uh, for this particular setup, we're just using the one. Jump over to my huddle cam, select camera one and use the joystick and I can see that the joystick is working and operating the camera. So we are all good to go when it comes to that. Now moving over to the Blackmagic ATEM, 
I do have some stands that I used from a previously owned ATEM device. Now these are 3D printed stands and they allow you to prop up your ATEM. So they really do help with heat distribution because the ATEMs do get a little hot sometimes, especially if you're using them for long periods of time. And because they don't have an on off switch, then some cases you may end up finding yourself leaving it on. So I do have a 3D printed stand to prop this up and make it easy to uh, just view it. And it's just more eye level uh, to some degree. Um, but when it comes to these types of stands, I actually prefer my extreme base stands. And I'll actually uh, show you guys what that looks like on my personal ATEM device because the extreme base stands also also allow you to have your Elgato stream decks as well. So if you want to keep both of those devices together, have them in a nice stand, the extreme bay is a nice 3D printed stand and I'll link to that as well. So now that we have all of this set up and ready to go, let's get it connected to our computer and brought into our OBS platform. Now that everything is connected physically, we do need to download the software for the ATEM. So I'm gonna jump into the computer. I'm on a Windows computer and download the Windows version of this. You can actually just select the download only button and we'll download the zip file. And then once the zip file downloads, we'll install the software. So there was one connection that I forgot to mention and it's important. You do need to connect your ATEM to your network. So I connected a CAT7 cable from my ATEM to my home router. That way the ATEM can be seen on the network. After that, make sure that you download the newest and latest version of the Blackmagic ATEM software. Once the software is installed, you'll be able to actually operate the ATEM from the software or from the control panel itself. So on the screen here, I am connected now to my ATEM software. And you'll see that if you have multiple ATEMs, you can actually scroll and see that I have my other ATEM, which is my home uh, extreme ISO version. So we'll close this for now and we will open up the OBS program and we will connect our new camera inside of OBS. We'll do this by going to the scene section and we'll call this camera and selecting OK. And then we'll go to our sources tab video capture device and we'll call this our ATEM and select OK. By default, you'll have a drop down of different devices and the device that we want is our Blackmagic design. Select OK. And when we're ready to go live, we select transition. Now I'll take off studio mode for this video. That way you can see how this is actually working. So now let's see how it all works. We can control this from our remote control. So we can go in our different directions with our remote control, or we can control this with our joystick controller. So one camera now allows us to operate everything and because our church setup is going to have multiple cameras, we're going to actually use inputs two and three for additional camera inputs. Now, this is the setup that will be installed at the church. If you have any questions about this setup or any of the other setup videos here on the channel, make sure you leave me a comment and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.